Not much to do in this act, huh? Unless I go, well, not really. Probably start out here and then if I'm really strong, I can go here, but that would be difficult. Let me just take two card removes. None of the other stuff does much. How's my weekend been? Good. It's been an okay weekend so far. Gonna play a little bit of the old Slay the Spur. Pretty good shuffle, pretty good shuffle. Might want to randomize the cards in the deck before next fight. Don't know. Maybe. Inconstantine TP4K. Oh no, <laughs> did I draw all four defense in the same hand again? <laughs> did that just happen? Let's take an anger to actually be able to kill things. Okay. Yeah, Bobo. Hey, cute normal. Hey, Inflammers. Hoobarox, thanks for the six months. That scrappy is the same to find because I'm not in an act where I can easily. Spend my health. Debutal in numeric. The fire icon next to the stairs is the ascension level. That's correct. Hey, true heart. I can take a dark embrace here, I think. Could also take a true grit. I'm a little bit more worried about guardian fight. I'm like infinite already. Ish. Just need cards to play infinitely. Guardian's probably the worst possible boss for what my deck is at the moment. Ten hours deep into Return of the Oberdin after watching me start it. Haven't had this much fun playing a game in a long time. That is a good game. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Good hit. Am I glad you're enjoying it too? Are you also playing Return of the Oberdin? It's like a clothesline. Just turn energy into damage, seems good. I'm gonna get a bunch of health. And if we get a decent combat relic, we should be able to go this way. We have this fight reward plus a chest to try to get stuff from. I don't know if that liquid bronze made any sense. It just doesn't do anything unless I wait all the way to guardian fight to use it really, so. Felt okay to use it then. Hey, base. It's dealt some damage. It's unclear that the damage does anything, but it has dealt some. Hey, friend of the trees. I don't know where my defense are. <laughs> I guess I only have four of them. Oh, okay. I found them. Fair enough. I've been offered a bottled flame. Nope.
Maybe next I can get a ceramic fish. Could be good, could be good. Burning Pact and Battle Trance early is nice. Me, Hichita, Meaty Owl Legs was taken. I'm gonna turn Eric Johnson down a touch. Thanks for 20 months, Shark Cat. Uh, Flame Barrier is fine. Flame Barrier is the sort of card that can just sort of win the entire act for us by itself. Ah, uh, not exciting. I guess I'll just go to this elite ahead of me and skip the super elite and the shop. I'm gonna have to grab this to not die, probably. No, you don't need to tell me that, Boof G. What if we had no relics for the boss? It's okay, we have a flame barrier. I'm sure flame barrier is a relic, right? Noted relic flame barrier, yeah. I'm in. Body slam any good? I'm not taking a second to Dark Embrace with no synergy. Let's take a body slam, try to make it good. Oh my god. I actually missed. It is a card game, in theory. do I have? Bash Strike Anger kills here. Unfortunately I couldn't um couldn't just burning pact or to get regret. Battle trance there. Both of them could have failed to kill that turn. Mm. I mean I don't think I can do that. I have a fire potion. I wonder if I'd rather have one targeted upgrade anyway. Just target the true grid upgrade. Make sure that I can beat Guardian. Gonna have 300 gold if I make it to next act. Guardian is the final boss. Well, I mean, you know. you know how it goes. I think it's good to save this fire pot. Stops me from having to rest before Guardian, probably. Rotating through four characters is just harder than rotating through three characters trail. Don't have attention to play all four characters perfectly all the time. I can take a juggernaut and it's like fine. So 
So I'm not going to be playing Anger in this fight. Unless something, like, really, really forces me to. Arguably not the best start possible. Arguably not the best start possible. Why am I not using anger? Oh, it would like kill me like a lot. Can I whistle? I can. Looks like 23 months nuclear wasted. Appreciate it. I think I might just end turn. I think I meant to get out of clothesline, not defend. Everything's happening so fast. So eventually I stopped being able to play True Grit, which is a bit of a problem. This is definitely an early morning guardian fight. <laughs> um, might have lost this. Later nine body slam there. Didn't want to take a damage. It's three p.m. allegedly. We're almost one here. Very good. Got to deal 34 damage somehow. That might be undoable. How would I do that? Sure, defend body slam is the most damage I can deal here, right? And that's 14, 24, 42. 36. Oh, well, that's tons. Is that the number I said it was? I don't think it is. <laughs> I think I was counting some stuff twice. Anyway, it still works. So I do have to play Trigger again. Yeah, 
Hey, look, Kukaracha. Flame Barrier is a pretty good relic, yeah. Don't think there's any reason to take damage here. Looks like we won. So counting things with 27 months. You're still counting my Guardian losses. Am I at 27? How are my Guardian losses looking statistically? Alright. These look mostly unplayable. I wish Exhum were good here, but it isn't. Maybe there's a brutality angle. Tech needs an arm moments. Like really bad. Juggernaut was a good pickup. It was necessary. Yeah, I needed to do that or upgrade body slam basically. But I couldn't really upgrade Body Slam without upgrading True Grip first. Don't think. Demon forms Sneko Eye wins the run. <laughs> so, uh, probably, probably true. I think that Sneko Eye by itself might win the run though. I'm not sure we have to take a demon form because of that. I might just skip. I don't have any strikes. That's the one strong thing that's going on. I got like decent block and no strikes. Good number of boss relics that are very useful here. Yeah, I'll just take a Sneko. Exhumed should become good quickly. I think there's a decent chance that we take Exhumed that we die in three floors. <laughs> so, uh, I'm not sure that that's quick enough. I guess I should probably remove Anger now. Sure, Exhum is a playable curse at the moment, but yeah, I mean, you worked out why I didn't take it, <laughs> but then you followed it with but for some reason. You can just leave it at it is currently a playable curse. What if I had two clothes lions? It's not a terrible card. Pattern shirt. Hey, Harrison. Gremlin horns, not bad. Is that music bugging out for you all? Or is it just on my end? Is it just that song? I don't know what's going on. With two clotheslines, you can hang twice as many clothes. Hmm. Frozen Eye shows the current cost of cards, but Sneko Eye randomizes the cost of cards when they are drawn. And Frozen Eye does not show like what they're going to turn into in the future. How would it know? So I want to go fight an elite. Sort of need to do that, I think. I 
If I upgraded a card, it would be Juggernaut or Flame Barrier, I think. Anyway, let's do that. Am I old enough on Netflix where they send toddlers on errands? No. I've seen it recommended, though. Atlanta either. I'm currently watching Severance. Which has been pretty good so far. I'm sort of living for Christopher Walken's character in it. He's very cute. I've never seen Christopher Walken be quite this cute before. Have I been watching anime? No, I have not. Although arguably my entire life is an anime. Do I want a fire breathing? It's upgraded. That's sort of a rad card. I already have a bunch of random damage shit. I'll just take an evolve. And a Fuma paint. And a searing blow? Probably not. Use my Slay the Spire anime rival? I don't. I'm not in a competitive anime. How evil am I feeling today? Not super evil. Feeling mostly non-evil today. I think I do upgrade strikes and defense. With Sneko I often you'll play them even if like they're not the most exciting card because often they'll cost zero, so. Dark Embrace, Evolve, Feel No Pain is pretty good against Hex. This isn't as good. This is worse. I'm still actually okay though. A little bit of damage. Clearly the evil twin Jorbs. What is it about the facial hair that gives that away? Is it the mustache? It's probably the mustache. Okay. Sometimes that's good. Is there an upgrade that like makes sense? It's flame barrier, right? Flame barrier, if any. I think I'll just rust. It's like a bit of a dubious rust, maybe. But I have four fights in a row. And my deck's fairly high variance. Is 
You started curling your mustache with wax. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, Mordo. I'm glad you're still enjoying it. Feels like there should be more wounds. The Taskmaster has uh, not had enough time to attack me, I guess. Beat Slavers, got a Liquid Memories, got another Juggernaut Plus. Sure. That's unfortunate. Guess it'll happen. Once worked with evil Jared from the Bloodhound Gang. I don't know what that is. The Bloodhound Gang members have names, and one of them is named Evil Jared. Is that what that is? It's a pretty incredible name. I think I've gotten this fight three runs in a row. I would like to never get this fight again, if possible. This is always going to buff itself, so this turn I only have to worry about this attack. Not bad. Hmm. I've done this to myself. <laughs> That's fine. But when Twitch randomly removes our ad features with no explanation. My YouTube channel is blocked on your school district's internet. That means I'm making it. That means I made it, right? Way to go me. Somehow I've gotten cancelled. There have been kids watching me instead of doing their homework or something. It's your fault. I hope you spend a lot of time thinking about what you've done. Hey, mm, doggy. not a name that I've heard in a long time. The Twitter Jorbs. 
wonder what the Twitter Jorbs is up to. Hee <laughs> Gemma Bean. Could take Uppercut. Sort of uninspired. I feel like I want to lean more into the Juggernauts though. I already have double clothesline. Most of my damage isn't actually from attacks, so. The deck is Pog. This deck is something. Definitely something. But Toucher, thanks for the 15 months. Appreciate it. Am I playing this? I think so. Okay. Ooh, a resummon. Did order for a year because it was a charity incentive. I'm still doing water for a year because it's a charity incentive, I guess. Oh, I don't have flame barrier this time. If I get a feed, I will struggle to play it without killing with Juggernaut. I just won't play Juggernauts. It's actually fine. Did that deal more than a flame barrier? Maybe. Maybe just barely. First thing I drink other than water, I have some scotch I'm going to have on my birthday. I'm infinite. Pretty good. Source 4 is the 13 months. Appreciate it. It was on Hydro Jorbs last year. Yep. And it's still, still now. Thanks for 13 months, Source Wars. This one of the biggest differences between Ascension 20 and not Ascension 20 players is the amount of how many speculative cards one picks in their deck. Because that's how it feels when you watch very good players. I have no idea. I don't know what people do. You aren't me. I'm not an expert. I think I would rather take Impervious than feed. It is pretty hard for me to feed. Also, it's not a deck that should need more than 82 health, because it's so block-focused. And Impervious helps a lot if I hit Barricade, which is one of my main ways to win the run from here. I guess we take Runic down. Who aren't me do things wrong? Yeah, I mean, you know. That's certainly one way you can approach the world. A weakened one. This is awkward, because I want to kill this one first now, but these are the two who can multi-attack. I think Zephyr wants to play for me. I think Zephyr wants to play with me.
If I didn't have Runic Dam, I might have considered a Liquid Memories on Impervious there. It would have saved me 17 health. Might have been good. That is the cost of Runic Dam. Not being able to make that decision. I'm not married for a guy. Weirdly, you know, strength potion. This is not a very good potion in my deck, and it did something that turn. Does this deck want to corruption? Oh, yeah. It is an ironclad duck. Like, <laughs> uh, Apicus should be good. Because it deals a very large amount of damage as well as blocking. Sensible options here are like disarm, impervious, feel no pain, I think. Probably just impervious. Hmm. Disarm is good against Awaken one though. One, two, three, four. It's gonna be a slightly spooky awakened one. I think I'll be okay. I don't have to play Evolve. Maybe I don't even have to play Dark Embrace. But hear me out, third Juggernaut. It's a lot of Juggernauts. Flame Barrier plus not a possibility. I mean, it's just less block than Impervious. I do have Evolve for this power through. I already have a Sneko Eye and a Dark Embrace. So I sort of already draw 10 cards a turn and a Pocket Watch. Could take another True Grit, but it's not upgraded. This might just be a skip. Mm, power through True Grit for late in the fight is sort of okay though. I doubt I'll need it. I think everything dies before then. Yeah. I don't know, it's close. I'll take it. 21 damage per block seems good. Well, that's just like your opinion. Where are my good cards? Okay. How many Juggernauts is too many Juggernauts? Well, they don't start in play. When you're looking at scaling cards for your deck, you always have to think about how exactly you're actually putting them in play. <laughs> I'm enjoying living vicariously through you, Mortimer. Hey, Bentang Fu. 
Why are my cats lurking like this? Why are they so weird? I got another burning pact. Seems fine. What is she doing? <laughs> Zephyr, what is she doing? Sorry, there are just like bangs coming from my closet and little cat is in there doing something. I don't know. <laughs> Couldn't tell you. My other cat's name is Xenia. I don't know if I want to reshuffle right now. It's not a great draw pile without these cards. It's probably fine. What the shit, duck? Okay. Burns, please? Hmm. Not that bad. This is a super elite nemesis with extra strength. There's not much reason to play Bash, I don't think. There wasn't any reason not to play it. I should have just played it. Hey, Kyrgios. You want to backseed, but you can't beat Ascension Zero. Well, maybe if you backseeded more often, you would be able to beat Ascension Zero. It makes perfect sense to me. You probably know. Lots of things that I'm doing wrong, right? Um, nope. I'm going to try to fight these elites. I don't know how it's going to go. Can you backseat horribly wrong? I mean, that's the only way you can backseat, so... I guess I'll do this. Now a clothesline kills it. I do lose three cards drawn, though. Next turn looks bad. Hopefully not just entirely dead. Okay, the summon was good for me. I think I have to get the Juggernauts in play there, otherwise I'm just not getting out of the fight.
construction or barricade would be good here. Those are my two uh, big three cost powers that do good things for me. Tropic Brew is a nice pickup. I take Metallicize over feed. How many feeds am I going to get? It's not impossible for me to get feeds. Metallicize deals 14 damage per turn, though, in theory. Which is a lot of damage. I also don't hate that it blocks. Banana still. Why did the girls from the parent trap decide that they had to swap lives? Uh, wasn't it to get their parents together or something? I feel like it was that. Two. I might be thinking of the Simpsons, that seems possible. One, so here comes an attack for 30. Is it dead? Is the body slam just lethal? Not quite, huh? I love how feed is better than metallicize in such a large number of situations, but we can still find times when metallicize is the right choice. Or possibly. It was just the wrong choice, but I took it anyway. Also, like, a possible <laughs> explanation of what just happened, for what it's worth. I think it was a good metallicize, though. my first good body slam turn of the run. It seems good now. Impervious and disarm. And shockwave sometimes. One of the tricky things with Snekoi in a deck like this is a deck like this really wants to get all of its powers in play, but with Snekoi, you don't control what they cost. So a lot of silent decks in particular, and defect decks, um, that are structured around winning with one cost powers don't necessarily like not want Snekoi, but definitely can lose runs they would have won otherwise because of Snekoi randomizing the powers to cost three and just not being able to play more than one a turn until you're dead. That's why you need a multiple of each power, sure. Let's take another 17 Juggernauts. Anyway, this comment inspired by... 
not having feel no pain in play still by the end of the fight. Implication pot's nice. I can exactly buy membership card. <laughs> that's not that's not as good as I want it to be. I think this is just a skip. Fairly likely that I'm getting a curse here. Nothing I can do about it. There are some slight things I can do about it. Mostly nothing I can do about it. I do want to hit it once. Because it can't do the last attack it did. So hitting it once makes it possible to multi-attack, which is incidentally what it ended up doing. And I would rather multi-attacked than cursing me. Me. Next pot's useful. These cards don't seem great. Tangela only multi attack that fight? There were a lot of multi attacks. I have a pentagraph, so being at full health at the end of this fight doesn't do anything. I'm just sort of vibe. Keep that Fugazi. Good to see ya. It's going all right. Hope you're good. Playing impervious when it costs zero, even if it doesn't block, so that I can have it on exhum, is a thing I should pay attention for for Act Four. That might end up mattering a lot at the elite fight, for example. I think here there's no reason not to play it. I have Exhum in my draw pile, and I am not going to shuffle again anyway. Candle. Blue Candle's not like that bad. I mean, it's pretty bad. I don't know. I <laughs> may, may have been stretching a little bit with that claim. Let's upgrade to Song. Seems like the best upgrade for a weakened one. And Time Eater. Is this the deck that takes Barricade? This deck certainly would love to have a Barricade. Has not been offered a Barricade though. Is Blue Candle better than Bottled Flame? Well, I already skipped Bottled Flame, so... It would be very strange to be offered Bottled Flame right now. Maybe I don't need Metallicize this fight. Given that the enemy scales when I play powers. Definitely don't need evolve. This arm costs zero. So that's what I'm using Exhum for. Look, 
looking good. What if Bottle Flame let you pick up the five starting cards in your hand? They had to be attacks. That would be so bad. Unless you had like Gambling Chub. You could just discard every attack. That could be okay. That actually sounds fine. So we're mostly getting rid of defense now. Five bashes. Well, wouldn't you have to... I assumed that you would have to have the attacks in your deck already. In which case you're going to get like five strikes. <laughs> Four strikes in a bash. Seems like a pretty bad turn one. Can I show a different strategy on the watcher? Don't know what that means. I'm currently playing Ironclad, right? <laughs> so, I don't really understand what you're asking. How many hours of my life have I spent playing Aspire? A lot. Very large number. I want to see discard pile size, not draw pile size, yeah? But then I stand in the way of a card in my hand. I don't know. There's no great solution, unfortunately. Disarm's also good against Time Eater. Feel no pain or disarm? I think feel no pain, and I think the reason is that disarm currently costs three. And I don't really want to have it cost three when I exhume it. Can move my camera to be just above the enemies. There's no info there to block. Really? I had no idea. Alright. There was a weird video jump. Oh. They just changed where the camera was. Shouldn't have been anything weird going on with the video. So if this is the multi-attack, it doesn't actually hit for very much, but the singular big attack is a bit spooky. I guess also I have like meal ticket, meat on the bone, pantograph. I'm currently at full health, so it doesn't really matter if it hits me. Video jump means pre-recorded. Oh no. I was running out of time for my challenge this month, so while I wasn't streaming, I I streamed. Or something. Have I considered letting chat redesign my stream layout, home layout, and city layout? Seattle's sort of oddly laid out. That might not be a terrible idea. Chat could hardly do a worse job of redesigning Seattle exactly. It isn't really Seattle's fault though. It's all the bodies of water everywhere. 
just to make it very awkward. Slam. You think card dependency by design is not a good decision? No way. Seattle, like the central part of Seattle, was fucked up before cars existed, though, <laughs> for what it's worth. Prismatic Shard has finally arrived. I think I just take Feel the Pain Disarm, though. Seems better. Chad is also pre recorded. How does it feel knowing that you are pre recorded, chat? That's gotta be a little bit weird, yeah? I don't hate using a potion here. I don't know which one to use, though. Sure. It's a lot to pay for one to feel no pain. I suppose sort of every card in my hand costs three or zero though. <laughs> Upgrade pot plays Dark Embrace here. Okay, sure. I may be being more careful than I need to be. So means club thinks the 18 months. Okay, so I can just turn now, I think. If I go Feel No Pain, Bash Clothesline. No, Feel No Pain Power through Clothesline. That should be enough. I could also Juggernaut instead of Feel No Pain. I can also Exhume Impervious, but it's expensive. Probably too expensive. is attacking. But it's just the small boy attack. This might also attack. Yeah. So I have Pantograph. This is now the big multi-attack. Let's exhume deal. Shockwave costs a billion. Don't need impervious anymore. Just do this. I have evolve. I do have evolve, so I can play that. This looks like a really good hand. Great title, thank you. I don't remember what my title is, but I'm glad to hear that it's good. Okay, this is attacking, this might be attacking.
Is that minus strength still? And now this doesn't attack during this thing's big multi-attack. <laughs> I, I just... <laughs> I just took the one that cost one instead of the one that cost zero. Arguably worse, but you know. If it works, it works. Alright, um. I wore pants to the spire so you wouldn't have to. It's a great title. Favorite weird interaction slay the spire. We recently found out that what is that card even called? What's the Watcher skill that makes it so the next attack you play costs zero? Can I remember? Recently found out how that works with Whirlwind now, which is pretty sweet. Swivel. My favorite weird interaction is taking Clash and then chat yelling at me. My favorite weird interaction is being offered Fiendfire right now. It's a pretty good Fiendfire. Second Wind's okay too. Second Wind is probably just better than Fiendfire. Probably. Let's just take a second one, I think. Am I YouTube Jorbs? Sometimes. That Juggernaut unfortunately costs three. It's like a fiend fire that deals twice as much damage and also blocks a lot. Yep. I didn't give myself a chance to hit an artifact charge off in Tropic Brew there, but it's probably fine. God damn it. God damn it. A lot of stuff happening right now. Let's put two of these. Take a look at this. Okay. Um. is fine, I guess. Sure. The slimed blocks for 19, so this hand is actually sort of fine. <laughs> it's sort of gross. Um, enemies already weakened. Oh, Void also blocks for 19. Lol. <laughs> That's very funny. Alright, not getting attacked this turn. I drew all the disarms. Whoops. Let's play Dark Embrace. Let's get rid of... I'm not sure I want to get rid of burn. I get rid of burn. Metallicize is a pretty decent draw. Play clothesline. And metallicize. If you take an early doom and gloom and some frost orbs, can you allow can you also get lightning orbs? Is that not necessary? Depends. 
Definitely a depends sort of situation. Oh, that's a second wind. That card deals a lot of damage right now. Like a lot of damage. And I still have one impervious. I don't like that it gets rid of power through. I guess I could exhume power through. Currently costs three. It's so much damage. It's 28, 28, 28, 28. Yeah. And Abacus. Actually, more than caps the heart. I'm just going to exhume this impervious, and then it will cost a different amount the next time I draw it, which is maybe not good. I don't know. It is what it is, I suppose. Do I second wind again? Oh, this is weird. I have decided no. That's my plated armor gone now. All right, single big attack. Can impervious. And that and this one. It's like slightly fascinating. Stone Calendar does nothing. Good work, Stone Calendar. Chili Brick Break, yeah. I didn't think I was getting attacked that turn. <laughs> To be honest. Okay. <laughs> well, fortunately, I didn't have to think. We got another ironclad one. Thinking can be a misplay? Absolutely. <laughs> 